So you're coming out as the Queen of Swords. Hmm. So it seems like you have to do some quick thinking here when it comes to a tower moment. It's coming out in the reverse. We also have the Justice card as well as the Lovers card in the reverse. Hmm. Wow. So I definitely feel something is starting to erupt. We have a tower moment here. Justice is being served when it comes to something that has become unfair. And this is why you're coming out as the Queen of Swords, a quick thinker. Wow. So it seems to me you've had to clear something away because it no longer serves your energy or someone's upset that you're avoiding something here. Hmm. I feel in so many ways someone doesn't like the fact that you are aware of something when it comes to a messy situation or even them. Tower moment, someone is uh, upset that you avoided a disaster. Hmm. dodged a bullet when it comes to something that is unfair there's dishon dishonesty a lack of accountability and I feel something has gone wrong when it comes to affairs of the heart someone is definitely coming from a low vibrational space here with the devil energy and there's no teamwork hmm. there's no teamwork in a situation where someone is resisting change or unable to move forward from something that is making their heart cold or dark. Wow. So whoever this is knows that you are generous energy. A lover, not a fighter, but I feel they shouldn't push you too far. As this is someone who is trying to take control of a situation here with the Four of Pentacles energy. And also I see someone believes you're a fool. Naive. Hmm. Yet this is someone who is being reckless with you. I feel this is someone who wants to put you in a situation where you feel bound to something, accountable for something, but this energy is not being realistic. They're very moody. And there's a breakdown when it comes to communication or even a breakup. I feel there is some type of lack here. Wow. An imbalance when it comes to a relationship where many of you are definitely using your intuition when it comes to a hidden agenda. Someone's just not listening to their inner voice. Someone hopes that you fail. Wow. So it seems to me someone has a sense of despair, a lack of faith. Hmm. Something has yet to be laid to rest in a situation where someone is trying to manipulate something. Someone wants something to go their way. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages here for the collective energies? Hmm. So it seems like someone is over investing in something that is unrealistic. This is someone who is trying to get away with something strategically through deception, betrayal, and holding on tight when it comes to something that is unfair. I feel this is someone who wants you to be naive to a situation and they're trying to emotionally manipulate something. This is someone who could be volatile with their words or even moody, but this energy is trying to do something publicly, possibly embarrass you publicly or trying to get some type of vindication publicly. But this is someone who is pushing something to the edge. I feel this energy is very defensive, paranoid, thinking about what you're talking about, who you're talking to. There's a lot of confusion and this energy is wanting you to be bound, stuck, isolated. This is someone who is causing restrictions, manipulating things. This is tyrant energy who is carrying somewhat of a abusive nature when it comes to confusion and illusion. I feel here with the moon card, someone is definitely sitting in anxious or insecure energy where they're possibly vibrating out of their fears. And this is where the chaos and confusion is coming from because this energy has a lack of clarity here with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. As it seems this energy could be bringing some type of setback. Someone is wanting you to lose direction hmm, through conflict. All because they are lost, someone is emotionally insecure, codependent, and very manipulative. But I feel this energy has poor planning. Someone is just not getting it right when it comes to a disagreement where they feel they can win. But I feel the odds, the odds are definitely against them when it comes to tension, conflict, and strife. This is someone who is trying to dominate a situation through emotions. Someone is wanting to block you from something. 
they are dealing with repressed emotions when it comes to an imbalance in work or even family. Someone's coming at you because they are lost themselves. This is someone who is challenging the status quo here with the Hierophant. In the reverse, you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles. Someone is wanting to hurt you emotionally or financially. This could also be in the energy of someone wanting you to be distorted enough to give in to their threats or false claims, but I feel you being efficient in something or standing on your word is making them more angry or making them more frustrated. Frustrated enough to do things out of spite. I feel this is someone who knows that you are a natural born leader, but this energy is in a state of crisis. Wow, this is why they are in a space where they're betraying others, feeling defeated, because they're going through a sense of bad luck, delays. This is someone who is just not motivated to do more and be more. And this is why they're lashing out at you. They're weighed down. Someone is weighed down emotionally, mentally, financially. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is emotionally immature, creatively blocked. Wow. Someone is also having some type of regret about your transition. So many of you, you're going through a rite of passage. Whatever has been burdening you lately, whether that is through finances, relationships, whatever it is, it's about to come to an end through a rite of passage. Many of you have definitely paid your dues within a situation where someone is trying to control something, but I feel in many ways, you, you're moving on here with the Five of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. There's a lot of loss and regret here because someone couldn't make a decision. Someone couldn't make the right choice. Hmm. Now, they could be overloaded, lashing out. Wow. Someone's definitely talking. Talking about you because they're afraid to come too close. Or, in so many ways, many of you have gotten to them. I feel like you've gotten to someone who didn't think that you were capable of seeing or even understanding the truth. Someone thought that you were naive when it comes to the mistakes they have made or the toxic things they've been doing behind your back. I feel many of you are well aware, and if you're not, you're about to be. One more card here from this guy called the Spirit. Yeah, you're coming out as the Queen of Wands. And in this energy of the Queen of Wands, nothing is getting past your intuition. We also have the um, High Priestess energy here. Hmm. Wow. Your intuition is definitely heightened. Here with the Moon card, you're definitely seeing through someone's bullshit. Wow, that came out pretty quick, Holy Spirit. What messages here? Messages here for the collective energies. Someone is manipulating things, acting delusional, and I feel like they're doing something on purpose. Wow. So I feel like something is replaying over in this person's mind, and this is why they're coming out as delusional, as like since this is someone from the past or present who has the desire to control some type of narrative about you, whether pretending to be innocent or dumb, but causing some type of chaos or confusion through dark attachments, manipulation, and destructive tendencies. Wow. Someone's acting like a fool because of their insecurity. Someone is also getting tangled up in their lives. Someone is really stressed out, going down a dark path. They're triggered because you've turned your back or you're no longer giving in to the games. And they're consumed by their emotions because of it. This is someone who is triggered and going through a dark night of the soul. This is someone who is facing their shadow self and this is why they're being overly aggressive. Still not seeing their truth. Still not acknowledging things from the past. Wow. I feel like this is someone who is always on the defense. They're very codependent and always looking for others to fix their issues, fix things that they have created. Because you and this energy, you're just not on the same page. But this energy is faking like they are in a space where they're content. If this energy is missing something, not seeing something for what it is. Yeah, they're going through a dark night of the soul. But for you, out of sight, out of mind, you're not worried about this energy who is clearly worried about you. This is someone who has an empty void that they're trying to fill, and this is why their hate or their negative energy is so strong. I also feel there could be a third party who is blocking their energy or keeping them blocked. This could be vice versa, but someone has some cloudy judgment. Hmm. And maybe sitting in a space where they're dealing with their abandonment issues. 
I feel like this is someone who never thought that they would be so triggered by something that you've done or said, but this is someone who is trying to be petty with you because they believe you just might have gotten the best of them. Wow. <clears throat> Wow, this is someone who is definitely dealing with some issues here. Stressed out, lashing out, triggered, empty, aggressive. Mm. And also telling bold face artists. This is someone who ghosted and avoided you. Because they can't be tamed, someone is definitely exploding, rebellious, fixated when it comes to influences. This is someone who is naive when it comes to loyalty. They're just not listening, they just have yet to get it right. This is someone who has trust issues that are related and non-related to you, but I feel the trust issues they have with you was created by them, by avoiding and dismissing the truth. So for many of you, this is someone who seems to be sticking to their lives because it seems to me they're never really telling the truth because they're not wanting to be vulnerable, but I feel them not wanting to be vulnerable it's definitely going to cause something to be a painful ending because someone is definitely coming from a space where they're outdated when it comes to their thinking this is why many of you feel like a situation with them just can't be tamed they're always coming at you with explosive rage or they're just not being logical when it comes to things they know is the truth I feel this energy is fighting at all costs and wasting time because they're never truly satisfied this energy is disconnected from their emotions Hmm. and only thinking about what it looks like to everyone else because they're keeping secrets out of fear not wanting to be vulnerable to the truth but someone is wasting time trying to trigger you someone's trying to trigger you by testing your boundaries but I feel someone's testing you because they're going through some type of painful transition where they're dealing with some past wounds that they have yet to heal this is why someone is lurking in the shadows Pretending to be blind to the truth, but this energy is only creating more drama. So for many of you, it seems like this energy is bitter and salty because you're not a pushover. You didn't fall for it. Someone's in a real bad mood because of it. Someone's in a mood because of their finances and whatever's going on behind the scenes that is causing tension and chaos. They are projecting their issues. I sense this energy is very overwhelmed and trying to orchestrate something by forcing something through conversation or how they choose to talk about you to others. But I feel this is someone who is never telling the truth. They're coming out as a pathological liar. This is someone who is gossiping, talking about you because they can't talk to you. This is someone who is playing the martyr acting innocent but this energy's heart is cold this is someone who is always draining the energy of others by repeating cycles and making claims that they know are false many of you possibly feel safer in solitude or without them because this energy is just always looking down on others because of their immature vibes or immature waves this is someone who has a lot of immature behaviors i feel like this energy is hiding their truth giving into weaknesses and whatever they're feeling is causing something to be more damaged than it should be. Hmm. This is someone who is also allowing influences to mold or create some type of issue as well. But I feel someone feels you've given up. But I feel many of you never really gave into the fight. I feel you don't play the type of games that they play. And I feel that is the true reason someone is truly bothered by you because they're starting to realize they can't get under your skin. As it seems to me, this is someone who is threatened by you in a very big way. This is why they're overly defensive, trying to cover up some type of tangled web of lies, which may be a waste of time, because many of you already see through it. But as I said before, out of sight, out of mind, many of you have no reason to care about what they're thinking or saying about you. Hmm. Many of you already know you're fully protected. Yeah, someone is definitely intimidated by you. They're bothered. They're threatened. Someone's bothered at the fact that you were able to dust something off. Because you they were waiting on something. 
So it seems to me someone was waiting on you to react to something. I feel someone turned their back so you react or someone is talking about you just so you can come out and clear the air. But I feel that is not your energy. I feel someone is waiting, but they shouldn't hold their breath. Someone is waiting to take. So it seems like someone is coming out as a thief here. Someone who is robbing others of their energy, their time. Hmm. Or various other things someone is wanting to take mentally, physically, or even emotionally. This energy is coming out as a spiritual hater. Someone who is bankrupt. <laughs> wow. Emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. Someone is trying to get the scoop on you because they're threatened by you. Someone is definitely trying to dig up some dirt on you. They're all in their head about what you're talking about and who you're talking to. So for many of you, this is someone who feels like you know the truth about them. And they're wondering if you're speaking that truth. But I feel many of you have nothing to say because many of you already know what you know will eventually come to light. Wow. Someone is fake flexing. Playing games. Same thing, different day. Hmm. But the fact that this energy is not being accountable, acting cold, many of you are fed up with someone flexing and pretending that they're not playing these games. But I feel the games they play is about to get them tied up in an overwhelming debt of karma. This energy is coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing, someone who is all in their head wanting to be back in position or all in their head about a grudge. This is someone who's curious about you, reflecting. But I feel this energy is reflecting on what to do and how to get under your skin. This is someone who is reflecting and thinking about scare tactics. Someone is being reckless and someone is still dealing with some family issues or things from the past that somewhat keep them petty with you. Um, so it seems like someone is going through a lot of karma for being a, sh a sheep in wolf's clothing. Um, because many of you are unbothered when it comes to someone who is all talk, no walk. This is someone who is talking about you because they're wanting you to react to them. But I feel you moving in silence is causing someone to be concerned. So you moving in silence is definitely going to bring someone out the woodworks. This is someone who has a fake smile and wanting to confuse a situation because they're coming up with nothing. This is someone who has no facts when it comes to you, but they're coming out as a bully. Someone who's tripping on you because they feel rejected by you. Or this energy is tripping on you because they're not wanting you to receive the love and admiration that you deserve. Someone is wanting you to be confined or rejected. Haunted. Wow. I feel this imposter is wanting you to feel how they do. Whatever's going on in their life is just not working out. And this energy is lashing out at you because they feel you turned your back. When in fact, you just woke up and realized whatever they were trying to put you through just wasn't worth it. Last card here from this deck, Holy Spirit. One more card here. Whoa. Hmm. So it seems like someone thought that you would react to something. So they're curious to why you're not making an offer. Hmm. Someone is wondering why you're not bothered. And I feel the more low-key you are about something, the more curious they are wanting to force their way into a situation someone is really triggered by you extra triggered that you have dodged the bullet I mean if you you are definitely uninterested in someone who has been playing games or trying to trigger you but the fact that you are ignoring someone who is who is abusing their power is definitely fired up something here wow. So it seems like someone is watching, waiting, creeping, wanting to take charge or force their way to in, into a situation. Someone is trying to force something because they feel like you're ignoring them. Someone is hating on your happiness, watching, stalking, because you have bruised their ego by running. This energy feels blocked by you. Even if they blocked you first, this energy didn't want you to accept it. They wanted you to chase. Wow. I feel many of you are running because you're too busy winning. Because in so many ways, someone has already shown you. They just ain't shit. Because as I said before, you guys, this is someone who is extra bothered, triggered when it comes to you. And 
someone holding some type of grudge because you have yet to fall for their game or their charm, but you're dealing with someone who has a very low IQ. And that's why they feel like they have fooled you. When in fact, you may have had to play a fool so the fool could think they were fooling you. Because in so many ways, you walking away will be their biggest regret. Someone still doesn't get it when it comes to karma. Someone still doesn't get it when it comes to the laws of the universe. Wow. So it seems like someone with a low IQ is definitely curious about you. This is someone who wants to make some type of offer, but I feel it's the same thing, different day. Many of you already know this, and this is why you're unbothered. You're unbothered when it comes to someone who seems to always be in the energy of playing games. Trying to stress you out, always trying to clap back. Someone who is always in a mood. For many of you, this energy is agitated and in a mood because your glow up. Something that is moving in big ways for you or the fact that you're just blessed. And this energy just can't deal. For many of you, you're just shaking your head when it comes to someone who is flexing and being savage when it comes to their energy. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who is shocked that they couldn't finesse you, couldn't control you, or the fact that you didn't follow. I feel you had to be the adult in this situation, and this is why someone is high-key spilling tea on you. But I feel this is someone who is trying to make themselves look better in some type of way. Because they are all in their feelings about something. Someone is all in their feelings about you being better or doing better. Or so they think. But this is someone who is trying their best not to look weak, low key. Someone is shaming you with a squad. Someone is throwing shade at you with a group of people. But I feel like. They couldn't be this brave or be this bold without this group. Hmm. Wow. Someone's trying to put you on blast because they're thirsty. They're wanting something to go viral. This energy wants everyone to hear it. They want everyone to see it. But it's all cap. It's all lies. Someone is still not keeping it real. But I feel someone is yet to realize you're woke. You see someone trolling. You know someone's being extra, and you also know someone is salty and sitting in their ego when it comes to you. Because for many of you, you already have the evidence that you need, and this is why something has flatlined. Something is flatlined in a situation because someone is bitter towards you. Hmm. You're suspicious of this energy, and this is why you took a different route. Hmm. So there's a, an abrupt change because you changed your point of view. But even if you didn't, I feel whatever you did, it was well played. Whatever you did was well played and on target because it's definitely getting under their skin. I feel the purpose here was to hurt you, but I feel something didn't work out as planned and this is why someone is all in their feelings low key trying to distract you low key not trying to look weak but I feel you taking a different approach or being the adult in this situation is causing someone to be completely shocked that you didn't end up following someone's shocked that you're not a follower or you're not being a pushover in a situation where someone really thought that they were getting away with something strategically but I feel in so many ways the struggle is real the struggle is real when it comes to someone who is talking about you but I feel them talking about you doesn't change your energy or your vibe because many of you have already bounced many of you have already walked away walked away humbly a humble brag here for someone who is moving in silence or just not dealing with things that you have put up with in the past. Hmm. So it seems like you may have to choose your words wisely when it comes to someone who is all in the mood. I feel like this is someone who just might use those words against you. I feel this is someone who is in the mood, has a fear of missing out. But I feel many of you have already counseled them because they were always in the energy of breadcrumbing. Now someone is on the outside looking in 
but many of you have put no energy into something and this this is what's making them savage reckless trying to get under your skin at all costs hmm. but I also feel as much as this energy is trying to upset you they also equally want to get next to you so it's almost like a, a love-hate relationship where someone doesn't really know what they feel about you so they just make moves from a place of emotion not realizing it will be their biggest regret as I said before you guys this is someone who has a very low IQ and it's sticking to the script when it comes to their lies even when there's facts and receipts stating otherwise yet this energy is still being phony fake and reckless thinking everyone wins in the end but I feel this is someone who only likes things when it's going their way wow. so for many of you this is someone who is being reckless because they know they got caught so it seems like someone feels like you can't prove the fact that they are pulling the strings in a situation so they just kind of wait wait to see what you're about to do but many of you you're not putting any energy into this someone is waiting for you to go back and forth with them but this energy is telling lies so it seems like this energy is wanting you to go back and forth with them about clarity or some type of illusion. But this energy feels like they can't get caught, you can't prove it, so they continue to be sneaky and play dumb to a situation that they know they are manipulating. Someone is playing dumb to forgiveness, manipulation, and apology, wanting to make things right. I feel like this is someone who is feeling like they are fooling everyone, desperate, baiting, baiting something in through twisting facts, twisting words, making you feel sorry for something. But I feel you're protected when it comes to someone who feels like they're a smooth talker. Because you're walking away. And with you walking away, someone is going to be left in regret for putting up some type of fight, arguing all the time, being a rival. Because now that you are guarded and following your heart, Many of you are exhausted with something that has caused you to find a better way. So for many of you, this energy doesn't like the feeling of rejection, but I feel that was unexpected from you. Hmm. But the fact that you made a sacrifice, there's a sacrifice here. Wow. You were willing to give up something. And this is what makes something too late. Too late to have that heart to heart. That real conversation for some of you you could be willing to have that heart to heart or that conversation but I feel the fact that this energy feels that they could talk their way out of anything is what's going to cause you to see something differently something is definitely stalled when it comes to this energy who is longing for something but still not being true to heart this is someone who is always choosing convenience over heart over truth causing something to be a long road when it comes to a difficult choice that this energy seems like they can't make one more card here of course if you guys are enjoying the reading please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video so it seems someone is definitely stringing something along hoping you go back and forth within a situation someone is hiding hiding the truth creeping upset because you may have dodged a bullet this is someone who believes that you believe they are innocent hmm. Wow. So this energy believes you're going to go back and forth with them about half truths or the fact that something can't be revealed or someone is just not convincing unless they get caught. Whatever it is, someone is just being pretty arrogant about the fact that something is yet to be revealed as they still continue to stand strong and believing their own lies and their own words, even though they know everything is a lie. Yet this energy is creating problems to get some type of reaction. And for many of you, they're trying to do that by breaking your will or putting you under pressure. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is even creating problems with the hopes that you'll need them or come running back to them or 
this energy feels like you will put them on a pedestal when clearly you're not. This energy is coming out as heartless, brutal, unloving, envious, uh, hot-headed at times. This is someone who can be very unpredictable when it comes to their urges, their anger, the fact that they could be spiteful and wicked, uh, even resentful because this energy is coming out as unstable. So for many of you, this energy is unstable because they're overreacting when it comes to something. Wanting to blame you, wanting you to feel complacent. This is someone who is too proud to give in to the shame that they have caused or even their disappointment. Someone is uneasy about you figuring something out. Someone also feels like you already know the truth when it comes to their addictions or even their envy. This energy is coming out as someone who is very unbalanced or neurotic. Someone who is jealous and angry. Many of you may even see them as heartless, <laughs> which is crazy. Out of sight, out of mind, some of you don't even see this person as an enemy. <laughs> you love big, and this energy has no love at all. Wow. Yet they're sensitive, delicate, and this is why they're guarded, moody, trying to control something by dominating something through manipulation. Someone thought that you would be a pushover within the situation. Someone thought that you would be attached. And this is why they're angry, because the guilt is starting to kick in. Someone has guilt when it comes to denial. They're very affected, emotional, yet still not being logical about their stone heart. This energy can be very emotionless, cruel, heartless, all because of their lies and unhealthy habits. Something has become detrimental because of their mood swings, bipolar energy here, please take it how it resonates, that is not for everyone, but I feel you also question their behaviors at times, they are sensitive, they are moody, and they do try to control things that are out of their control. This is what's causing them to not be logical about something, especially when it comes to their lies, someone is hiding something when it comes to mistreatment, deceiving others, being confrontational antagonizing you because of their insecurities because they're fixated on their lack their need of not having someone's trying to justify their toxic ways and their insecurities this energy is very offensive rude has hurtful words and even dismissive to you trying to avoid the truth by playing the victim woe is me someone is very stubborn about being judged wow Someone has a lot of phobias here. This is someone who has a lot of phobias about life. And this is why they are emotionally unavailable and lashing out. Because they don't want you to be strong enough to find a new path. Or even prove they were the problem from the start. I feel like this is someone who doesn't want you to be right. So they are doing everything to prove that you're wrong. Yet I sense what was meant to destroy you will only end up rebuilding and empowering you because the traps and the holes they have set for you will also be the ties that bind them. So for many of you, this energy is very defensive. They're sitting in their pride in this narrow mindset and trying to calm their way through something or out of something. Trying to justify being antisocial or avoiding a truth because someone is not sitting in tradition. Someone is not rooted in their values. I feel this is someone who has a fixed mindset when it comes to pulling the strings, manipulating things, scheming, plotting, sacrifices, being the pawn in someone else's game or even the victim, but I feel someone is afraid. <laughs> afraid of what you're saying and what you're doing. Someone doesn't trust doesn't trust anyone this is why they're so rebellious this is why it always seems they give zero fucks because in actuality they don't this is someone who is immature naive irresponsible mocking everyone when this is someone who is backstabbing those they should trust i feel this is someone who knows they have done things that are unforgivable through vindictive ways vengeance this is someone who has closed off their mindset because they are too afraid to even acknowledge how toxic they are. Toxic, harsh, health, unhealthy. Someone allows something to slip through their fingers by being prideful and narrow-minded with you. But I feel this is someone who is about to be humbled. 
Someone's about to be humbled by the things that they have said that they know is untrue. As I sense this is someone you were once comfortable with, yet this connection somehow became a source of confusion, disappointment, and even pain. I feel that was not the purpose for this energy to be in your space or even your energy, which is why the wrath they're about to take won't be pretty at all. But I feel it just might humble their soul. I feel this is someone who didn't see something coming when it comes to karma. This is someone who definitely doesn't believe in those type of things. But as I said before, before things are said and done, they will be humbled. Because from what I can see, things are only getting worse for someone who feels entitled to hurt others, but never to compromise. Because through this unstable energy, it seems all they do is operate from a damaged heart or even a bruised ego, which only seems to make things worse as they have failed to be intuitively guided from the heart. I feel this is where the regret will set in. And I feel someone is so unstable, they have yet to even understand the pain, or even the pain they are causing. For many of you, this energy is coming out as very angry, impulsive when it comes to their rage. And I feel like they could have did some spell work that may have backfired because they have broken some spiritual laws when it comes to bad intentions, distorted energy of a spiritual stalker. Hmm. So it seems like this energy is coming out as a spiritual hitman, someone who is stuck in a loop, stuck in a situation where they're projecting their energy or projecting lies. Harvesting energy through bad intentions, someone sees themselves as the anti-hero, someone who is using others to cause pain. I feel this is someone who is not spiritually protected at all. Wow. Well, someone's not spiritually protected, and this is why someone has gotten caught in a loop. Someone has gotten themselves caught up in something that is definitely over their head. As it seems, this energy has shown you many sides of them, but as of yet, this energy has yet to show you an unselfish side of them, because they're always coming out as distorted, unstable, irrational, never wanting to listen, never truly understanding, yet I feel someone will reap what they have sown. Someone is coming out as having no protection and this is why they're reaping what they have sown when it comes to a psychological warfare some type of glitch is happening when it comes to someone's trauma because they're re receiving hollow victories when it comes to a spiritual hater who has been stripped of their spiritual gifts all because of the trauma they refuse to heal from and as well as their anger and bad intentions. Someone's definitely under pressure here. Under pressure when it comes to reviving their soul, mm. leveling up, being better than they were before, but I feel they have been drained in many ways as well. But I feel this energy still doesn't see something. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Someone doesn't see that karma's about to bite them right in the bud. They're about to walk right into it. As a matter of fact, this, this energy is being set up to drop the act. Do something better. Be something better. If this energy is stuck in a loop. A loop that's only going to bring them to a space of regret, shame, and pain. As I sense, this energy is definitely needing to do something better or drop the act when it comes to an unhealthy dynamic or toxic environment. But in so many ways, it seems this energy really doesn't know the difference when it comes to the truth and the lie. They have convinced themselves of something different, <laughs> causing more fear, hesitation, and even paranoia. As they know you have questions they don't have answers to. So they control this urge of making things right or just doing things better by pretending that what they had with you was meaningless or overrated when, in fact, it was everything. Wow. Someone doesn't want you to know how special you truly are. 
This is someone who is reminded of your unique qualities anytime they reflect on their losses, yet there is so much going on in their life that they can't really envision some type of change. Hmm. Someone can't envision the best choice to make, and this is why they're coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone who is descending spiritually, mentally, emotionally, all because of bad intentions. Someone may have already sold their soul. Hmm. Wow. This is why someone is reflecting on these losses and sacrifices, yet there is so much going on. Someone just can't really put the pieces together. As I feel this energy is very aware of what they lack or how they failed, but it's still shown no remorse or regret that makes any sense. But I feel that it's all about the change. Because the true reason of their downfall has nothing to do with you, yet their choices is the real reason they continue to lose. I feel this is someone who is descending fast because they sold their soul or they gave into weaknesses of a false prophet. I also see karmic ties here that's causing trauma as well, but I also feel like these influences are causing them to continue to break spiritual laws. This energy is coming out as a shapeshifter. This is why you never truly know what you're going to get. Because from what I see, their bad intentions are only getting worse. False prophet energy of someone always shifting their energy, changing for others, mm. yet never changing for you. Because from what I can see, they seem to be trauma bonding in a toxic environment or a situation that seems to bring more pain than progress. Which is why they lash out at you, because there may not be any other options. Wow. So it seems like this energy is descending fast when it comes to a spiritual battle, karmic ties, bad intentions, being a false prophet, even this shape-shifting energy. Because it seems like all that they're doing in this lifetime is also bringing up things that they have done in the past lifetime. Because it's all resurfacing. And this is why someone is completely not protected and going through major seasons of sacrifice. Someone is lashing out because nothing's going right. And I feel by hurting others, nothing should. And since this energy has put you through a lot because of their own pain, bad decisions, bad intentions, covering the blessings of others, sending the evil eye, being a spiritual bully, but I feel justice is about to be served because someone's about to hit spiritual jail. There's no way out of that. Someone's definitely going to have to pay their dues because when it comes to you, their bully ways, or even their toxic energy, their access has already been denied. As I sense you are divinely protected. <laughs> For many of you, your ancestors definitely don't play when it comes to you. In fact, I feel there are spirits monitoring you at all costs because when it comes to this spiritual battle, all of this negative energy has already been returned tenfold. And the more this energy tries to come for you, they're only coming for themselves. This is why the karma is headed their way. This is why someone is already standing in it and they don't even know it. And it's because of their bully ways of this shapeshifter energy. Someone's too confused about life to even see what's coming their way. Because what's coming their way, they won't be able to get around it. This false prophet is definitely sitting in a space of bad luck because their third eye chakra is shut off, blocked, and I feel they are definitely tampering with their legacy because this is someone who is about to be stripped financially, mentally, and also cursing the bloodline. Someone's definitely going through a dark night of the soul where someone is fated to be a fallen angel. Someone who has narcissistic behaviors or tendencies, who isn't getting the luck that they thought they were going to get. And because they can't control what they thought they controlled with you, someone's gone down a path they didn't expect to take. Because there's no way they're going to be able to harvest your energy anymore. Hmm. And this is why someone is feeling triggered by the loss of your energy or the fact that you are unbothered. Yet what they should be worried about is an upcoming event here. Hmm. 
I feel this upcoming event will definitely send shockwaves through their life, causing them to embark on a journey of humility, whereas since karma is finally about to humble their soul, and there's no way around it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and